repair required and I, I heard a noise so some component popped or something happened okay so we have to do the usual um, the air uh, seems is documented and see it's a CS supply I don't see a CS supply but I see a CE supply and it turns out there is a test and that allows you to do it without using an extender so I'll try to do that first okay so it's up so to enter the test mode it's select C1 start and okay and this is it's actually is the calibration step says call step over here calibration step and the first test is the one where all the voltages are tested so and I did start and that didn't do much start program pack air 37 okay well that doesn't help so much and now if I redo it I get a different error, error code C1 step 1 now it's excess current 31 oh my so I am hosed, I cannot even run the, the calibration test, there's something wrong. Um, so I need to test on the board, which means I need an extender. Uh, and uh, of course I don't have one, so I have to make one with this. And uh, bits of IDC connectors. So after a lot of soldering, I made an extender. And the machine still comes up. So I uh, can now test, uh, but my problem comes right away. I do the first DC test, and I have an excess current 31. So, and of course, if I do the second test, it won't go anywhere. Uh, one. I take the step two. And it has an error uh, because it cannot even bring the program, the power supply on because of the excess current and there is no device on it. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, maybe I'm onto something here. Okay, let's investigate that. So I reseated the boards, uh, which obviously now I can see they were not seated properly. Uh, and now if I do, oops, shoot, C1, start, start. But I still don't have the voltage I should have over here, I have nothing. But now I have no pack errors at least, uh, so it goes through the steps. And on some steps I got the voltage, so that's some sign of life. And uh, one resistor gets very hot over here, so there must be something wrong with that. I'm going to look at it. So this resistor here is burning hot. So I'm try trying to suspect this transistor has something wrong with it, uh, which is uh, this fellow over here, and that's why my resistor over here is burning hot. Actually, there were two similar transistors. Um, so it gives me a even more better comparison. So that's the one I thought was bad. And it gives me no result here. There's a little warning sign, which I don't know what it is, a battery warning sign, so maybe because it's shorted. And this guy, which is its friend, is a gain of a hundred. 
So definitely a bad transistor. To find a replacement for the transistors, it would be nice to uh, have them work on my curve tracer. Uh, but this one doesn't work, so I need to re repair the curve tracer before I repair the data I/O uh, problem burner.